Hi, um, I'm making this video specifically to talk about the lottery. I live in Ohio, and the Ohio lottery, to me, seems like it'd be pretty easy to crack, so I've been trying for about six months now. Uh, I hit on 7-Eleven the other day. I did a mathematical sequence, um, four sequences actually, a positive and negative, and a positive and a negative. And I predicted 7-Eleven to hit, in which it did. And I'm pretty conceited about it. But anyway, um, not the point. Uh, I'm going to start using YouTube to try to do this with everybody. So hopefully when I hit, everybody else will hit too. Um, I notice a lot of patterns, and I'm about to explain to you guys some things. Um, I also, I'm kind of psychic sensitive, and I believe I have angels, and I get angel numbers. Um, my speedometer, like my trip speedometer on my, uh, my car, it sometimes gives me the pick five numbers. Uh, but I also am a cashier at a gas station, so I see numbers all day. And I get a lot of repeating ones, and I actually have hit the pick three lottery three times in the last week. So, um, I got an angel number today, which I played as a pick four number because I saw it like three times in a row. And then when I got home, I looked at the pick five number and those same numbers hit today for midday. So there's always a chance that I'm going to hit for the pick four today, which will be one, eight, two, three, if my calculations are correct. I got a million text messages coming through. Everybody wants to know how to crack the lottery code. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm not smart, like, in the mathematics region whatsoever. Um, my brother is a mathematician, though. But I'm pretty sure he still couldn't crack the lottery if he tried. Um, I'm just a normal person. Okay, no, I'm not normal at all. That was a lie. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to flip this camera, and I'm going to show you... Um, kind of what I'm doing here. Um, when I was in the drive-thru at Burger King uh, for about an hour ago, um, I had seen on my speedometer, my trip speedometer, it said 1822.1. Okay? So I took the 2.1 as a 3. And then I look at the license plate in front of me, and it's 8132. And I'm like, holy crap. And then I get up to the drive-thru. I order the random things. It's not uh, exactly what I get usually. I bought somebody else some food today, too, as well as my dude. So uh, different total. Comes to 12.23. And I was like in awe because I was just looking up the angel number, 1832 or whatever. I get up to the window and I tell the cashier and she's, She's pretty excited for me, too. She was like, wow. I mean, all this within one minute. And when I Googled the angel number, it said that I should soon, because I'm persistent uh, in my work, um, receive bank notes. Well, since I'm not rich, I live in a mobile home, um, you know, I don't know what a bank note is. So I Googled that. And that means I have to physically go somewhere where they will present me with a large sum of money. So that's freaking awesome. Okay. So anyway, we're going to flip this camera, and I'm going to show you. During this time, when I got to the drive-thru, I got 18222. So when I was sitting at that window telling the woman, that is the number that I saw on my trip speedometer. Three twos. So I noticed it. It was dominant. I was paying attention to this other number, and then here's three twos in front of me. So um, let's flip this thing real quick. I don't know how to do that. Oh, man, is it not going to let me? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what we see right here. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to point this at you guys in hopes that you guys can see what's going on. Um, so, I see right here we have, this is pick three, pick four, and pick five, written out as today's midday, last night's evening, midday, evening, midday, evening. Okay. So, in the situation... I see that we have eight, one, two, three with a six. Okay. 
Well, even though this is pick five, pick four and pick three seem to be relevant also. Um, so in the situation, you can see a two connects to these zeros. There's triple zeros. So, and then there's another two. So there's a chance that two, two, two could come out because there's three zeros. The zeros are actually twos. Okay. So then over here, we got two eights, well actually three eights, and then three ones. Okay, so something is going to triple. That's what that tells me. Um, that's touching a two. If you go down the line, it touches two twos. There's another eight and a one. So it goes one, eight, two, two, and then there's two ones, which I would assume to be a two. And these nines kind of box it in, meaning that these are important. The number two is important. So, and then you see like double fours and double twos. There's a two and a four. Do you feel me? Okay. So, um, I don't know. I noticed that the four and the zeros lead up to the fours and there's three fours that one connects to a two. So, and there's another four and a two. I, I hope that you guys can see all this. But uh, doing the mathematicals according to the date, I don't know if you can see this well, but uh, we got four, four, two, two. That's the date, the date today. So my assumption is that if you take this two and you keep it as a two and then you take two and divide it by two, it's, you know, two twos, two twos. Two is going to be dominant. Four and four is eight. I just, I feel it coming. So... If you are living in Ohio and you get this message, uh, maybe try my, it's one, eight, two, three. I would play it for a dollar box. And then if you hit that, I believe you win 200, 250 bucks. Okay. Uh, if you hit for one, eight, two, 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 you win box, you win $10,000. If you hit this number, straight and, well, just straight, you win uh, $50,000. Okay, so that would be a total of $60,000 minus taxes. I'm going to play this five times for a dollar backup, which would give me $60,000 times five, which would give me $600,000. Take out taxes, which would be a approximately $30,000. You feel me? Okay. I'm just, uh, I'm hoping that this works. I want to let everybody know how to crack the lottery code. When I do crack it, I want to light up Ohio. <laughs> I want to send these people at the lottery station running around like in a panic because my county, which is Portage County, I just want to light it up. So as as I go, I'm going to tell all my friends, and yeah, we're going to watch the lottery people run around like ants trying to figure out what to do here. And then hopefully we can do it again and do it again until they stop basing. Like what they're doing is they're, they're basing it off the date, okay? And when they're doing this, they are picking the numbers, meaning it's not random, at all. I mean, it's random associated with the date, but the date is important. Important. I can't say that they're weighing the balls down, because um, I don't know if that's true or not, but, uh, you know, I just, I feel like that's how I cracked the lottery code for 7-Eleven on the 28th, and if you guys actually, if you want, I can show you how I did that. Okay, so let's put this over. So... It was, what, it was uh, 3, 28, uh, 2020, okay? So what I did was there's two twos on each side of this eight, uh, which made it really easy for me, I think. But I did eight times two equals 16. 16 plus two equals 18. 18 divided by two equals nine. Okay, so we got, sorry. Okay, so we got nine. And then we got eight times two, because this is a positive, equals 16 minus two. This makes this a negative one. Equals 
14. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. And then I did 8 times 3. 8 times 3. You can see that. Um, 8, 16, 24 plus 2 equals 26. Sorry. <laughs> divided by 2 equals 13. And then I did 8 times 3 equals 24 minus 2 equals 22 divided by 2 equals 11. So I played my positives together, 9, 13, and my negatives, 7, 11. And 7, 11 hit. And since I had double ones, uh, I played it for a dollar box. I won $169 and some change. But it was accidentally printed twice. Um, so I gifted the ticket to the person, the cashier, who uh, printed it twice. So we both won $169 on the 28th. And all I did was spend $4. So there you go. Um, yeah. So anyway, I know that I probably sound psychotic and maybe even look crazy with my hair all over the place, but I seem to know what I'm doing. I've been paying attention. Okay. I've been obsessing over the lottery. I'm addicted to math. I even went on Facebook at one point in time and told everybody that I was addicted to math, that I can't stop thinking about it. Anyway, um, so I hope that you're able to see all the things that I just showed you. I'm going to go back and rewatch this now. But uh, good luck to everybody. I would definitely play 18222 today and also 1823. And we'd all be stupid if we didn't play 420, right? And 420, 20, 20 is going to come up soon, too. So everybody keep playing that because that's going to be dominant. Um, and if I get any more little hints, uh, I'll let you know. And if you're wondering what an angel number is, uh, real quick, I'll just tell you it's a repeating number that you see everywhere. And after you, you know, read about it and you take it to heart, uh, you'll start getting a new one. Some people say, well, I don't see repeating numbers anywhere, but I see my birthday. I see my birthday everywhere. That's an angel number. It's a number that angels are trying to use to get a hold of you and get your attention. Uh, somebody says that they see 666 everywhere, and they, they freak out because they think the devil's following them. Okay, no, that's negatively aspected. What if it's the angels using a number that they know that you'll recognize? So... Um, you know, optimistically, if you look it up, it will give you a message. And usually it's an inspiring message telling you that you're awesome or giving you some type of advice. And you're supposed to take that to heart. And uh, people see 1111 and they say, 1111, make a wish. Nah, don't make a wish. I mean, you can make a wish if you want to, but you better look that up because that's the code of activation. It's your angels telling you that you have recognized that you have angels and that they are using numbers because the whole universe is made up of numbers. So it makes sense that they would use them because you see them everywhere all day, right? I mean, I'm a cashier at a, at a gas station, so I see them everywhere. Um, I mean, my customers, we talk about lottery, and I usually give them some hints, and I see things that they're playing that I've been seeing lately, and then I'll play those a little bit more. And it's just really convenient. I don't want everybody to obsess and spend all your money. But if you start seeing a number everywhere, I suggest that you try to play it. And if you're not really sure how to play it or what the best way is, I know that pick five, you can't play that wheel, which is uh, where, it could, you know, you pay like a dollar per number. And then if it comes up any way, you make more money. You can play it for pick three and stuff. If you see a number like 7-Eleven, you wheel that three times, that'll be for a for dollar, well, you wheel it for a dollar and three, it costs three dollars, but you'll, uh, you'll win more money. So study the Ohio lottery. It seems to be kind of simple. And, you know, I know I just tried to crack it for six months, but it's like, I've tried a whole bunch of different things. So now I'm figuring out what didn't work. Yep, so I'm crossing things off my list. Like, well, this idea was crap. Um, but, yeah. Um, 
they made that dude, it took that dude, what, over a hundred times to try to make a light bulb, to finally make a light bulb? Yep. Found a million different ways how not to make a light bulb. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.